Okay, so this gentleman has the elevated out FOSS. I think his gallbladder is in. Uh, we ran out of scopes, so I'm doing a radio, which I, I think you should never do for biliary problems, okay? It just said in this case, the chances of a biopsy are pretty much zero. So uh, just to, to, to avoid waiting for the linear scope, we're just going to use a radio here. So here we go. Vous allez sentir le tube dans la bouche. Respirez bien. Voilà. Okay. Avalez un petit coup ici. Penchez la tête vers l'avant. Encore un petit coup. Avalez, avalez juste un petit coup. Okay, merci. So with the radial, we just go straight down. Um, keep the aorta at six. Push in. You get through the G junction. You see the aorta down here. Pushing in. Hitting a bit of a bump here, so I'm going to go over that. And look at that. He's got, uh, what's that? Some pretty good esophagitis there. Take a little picture of that. Okay, and he might even have a bit of a shatsky or something because it's a little bit of resistance here. Okay, so I have to go into the stomach then come back. So you see the, uh, there's the, um, there's the pancreas here, but normally you start at the aorta up here, which is here somewhere. It's down, down here. You push in, you see the celiac takeoff, what they call the whale's tail over here. Then you push in and you get the, the portal vein, uh, the splenic vein under the pancreas right there. That looks good. Okay. So we're going to go into his bulb and look at his uh, bile duct. So some people say the radial is easier. I, I disagree with that. I think the people who say the radial is easier are just not comfortable with the linear. Once you learn how to use the linear, there's no difference, if you ask me. So to get the stack sign, what they call it with the, with the radio, you go into the bulb, put the balloon up uh, nice and big, just kind of go in the apex. Uh, I like to go actually go a little bit past the apex and tip up, torque left, and pull back. Okay, and I'm going to put this down here. So you can see the bile duct right here. There's the, the ampulla. He has a bit of a straight shot, so we go straight into D2. And I'm pulling back. There's his bile duct there. Okay. There we go. And that, so far, that looks pretty good. I'm going to try and get the nice long view of his bile duct. Zoom in just a little bit. No, touche pas au monsieur. Okay, so there's his PD as well. Kind of, it's kind of an unstable position for his bile duct. But we're getting a good view there. Right there. And it looks uh, looks very good. There we go. Okay, just working. In the, there we go. They're getting a nice long view. It is easier to get a longer view. Well, I take that back. I think you can get a, a, a long view with the linear scope very easily as well. It's just you don't get the long view quite so often from the bulb like this. But we have a nice view of his bulb like there. It's a little bit of a fold. Uh, no, that's a better view right there. Uh, so I think his bulb like is clean. We'll go underneath. Go in front of the papilla. I think it is important to get in front of the view from in front of the papilla because you can miss stones impacted right at the papilla if you don't do that. So I'm right in front of the papilla now. And there's his there's his his ampulla is was right right about here. So I pull back, you see the PD comes out first, and then you'll see the bile duct right there. So you got the, the view right to the papilla, and there's nothing there. Unfortunately, with this forward viewing radial scanner, you can't look really endoscopically at the papilla usually, um, which would be a nice part of this exam. But uh, the bottom line is, is uh, for, th for this, his, his body certainly is clean. If he doesn't have any progressive cold stasis, I wouldn't uh, worry about this too much. And does he have a gall monitor? I'm not seeing his gallbladder. There we go. I think he's, he's, po he's post coli, this guy. I read it in the chart before. So that's it. The, 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 the bile duct looks clean to me. Just sucking some air. Just looking at his liver, if he has any obvious liver disease or anything. Coming back, there's his liver down there. There we go. So his liver looks pretty good as well. No intrahepatic dilation either. So that's it. Normal bile duct. All right. So I, I don't, I, I actually don't uh, like teaching the radial anymore for biliary work because I really think people should learn the linear. 
And if you're, especially if you're starting out, it makes no sense to me to learn two things. You may as well just learn one. And if you're gonna learn one, learn the linear and that's it. And if you have a radial and a linear, stop using the radial if you can and use the linear as much as possible. Obviously, if you, if you don't have a choice, you have too many cases, you need to use the radial when you can. But whenever you can, I think you really need to use linear as much as possible.